Hey guys, this is a quick workaround for the Oculus Quest and Quest 2 black screen issue when attempting to use the Oculus Link. It is an issue that mostly affects the Vega built-in graphics on AMD chips, when, particularly when working in hybrid mode on laptops. It seems to be less apparent on Intel um, integrated GPUs work in hybrid mode. So how do you resolve it is you go into device manager. This is my desktop I'm just using for example, but on my laptop it would read RX 5600M and also Radeon graphics. I would right click on the Radeon graphics and I would go disable device. And I make sure I reboot after that. And after I've rebooted, I can now go into my Oculus software and I should be able to, once I've plugged in the device, accept the prompts and I should now get the proper um, desktop Oculus interface showing up on your Rift. Now, again, this is a workaround, not a fix. They're gonna have to fix their detection um, in the Oculus software, because another issue I noticed is it's constantly coming up with the prompt on my laptop saying you do not meet the recommended specifications, which is clearly not the case if it was detecting the R, uh, RX 5600 properly, as that clearly meets the minimum specifications. That being said, just another tip for uh, new Quest users is Make sure you go into devices uh, and then click the little arrow there. You're going to want to make sure uh, graphics preference. I'm not sure how automatic uh, handles it, but in terms of VRAM usage uh, quality, which is the highest setting, that will use up more than six gigs of VRAM. So on my six gig uh, 5600M, it immediately um, maxed out uh, loading up VR chat. So I balanced, uh, I think it was just around four gigs, give or take. So that would be the setting you'd want to use for six gig cards um, on the Quest 2. Keep the, the, the highest setting of uh, quality for eight gig cards and up. That is it. I hope that has helped. And Oculus, please fix this. This is a workaround, not a fix. <laughs> Thank you.